Hi, welcome. This is another video out of, out of the Calamaris series, and we've just shown you how to start Calamaris from the menu, which is just install, and you have a choice, two choices actually, All right? But you can sometimes have um, an Arch Linux D, for instance, where there is no menu at all. So how do we uh, start Calamaris? Well, because of um, developers, um, we need to have more information. And what we do is Control T, and that's just what we've done in July now with this edition. We've started uh, Calamaris with well, like in any other program. So there's also a tip in there. If you have issues with any program, we always say start from the terminal, because in the terminal you get often information that otherwise you won't see. And then a dash D debugging. Now this results in exactly, more or less exactly the same thing as the other video that I've shown how to start in debugging. So that's this thing, debugging mode on, debugging mode is on. But the advantage for me as a developer is that it gets very, very technical. All the information is in here. And that's of course um, interesting because the Calamaris is one, free, two, it is not our project, it's on github.com slash calamaris. And it's developed all the time, it's improved all the time. And of course, things get updated and we're a little bit set back in the, in, okay, we need to fix this thing and then it moves forward again. So it's it's always an, an, a, an, a way to improve and then add efficiency, add usability, etc., etc. So it's, um, it's improving all the time. If you watch uh, Calamari's video of two years ago, I mean, it's awesome where we are now. So the thing is, um, if you want to help, then this information is critical for these guys. If you want to report issues, this thing, this, this control C, control V would be a great thing to have that to analyze what's going on on your system. So that's another way to actually install, go through the motions, You'll see if you go through the motions in here, then things change in the back end and uh, every selection you make is going to get some more information in here. And of course, if there is an error, then you'll get something. I hopefully you'll get an information that uh, says something to the developers of Calamaris and it can be fixed on the next release. And that's the point. So if you put energy in it in Calamaris and report issues, then next time around, you'll have a better installer and everybody is going to benefit from that. All right, enjoy.